It's one of these days today. Boxes on top of boxes on top of yeah, and and, and an envelope. I didn't really make a video today, so I got tons of stuff in my mailbox. A majority of the stuff I bought for myself. So let's dive into it. Not really sure if mail time videos are very exciting, but some of this stuff is for the channel. Some of this stuff is just for me. So let's dive into this. I like to say this, this is like Christmas for me because some of this stuff is actually Christmas presents I bought for me. I bought double-sided tape. Yep. I bought some little LED little, kind of like the lights that I have in my van that are on right now. I bought little ones here for the front of my van. So I plan on putting these in the front so if I'm ever doing any filming in my front seat, I've got good lighting. Ooh, what's in here? It's heavy. <laughs> really important. Um, a big spool of wire. So I can wire up all that. All those LED lights. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let me let me get in on some of you guys know what these are. These are ding dongs. <laughs> Terry Lynch, my life. Thank you so much for sending me these. I'm so excited. They used to have these. I don't know if they sell them anywhere else in Canada, but they used to have these when I was a kid and I haven't seen them on the shelf freaking probably forever. So anyway, how these came about is after a live stream one day. Um, I was on the Discord chat room and talking to Cherry Lynch, <laughs> Cherry, <laughs> sorry, Terry Lynch, my life. Whew. And uh, she ordered me a couple of boxes. She found them on Amazon. They taste the same from when I was a kid. I bought myself some peel and stick fabric tape. So on the bottom of my curtains, here, I'm going to see them. Probably can't. On the bottom of my curtains, see how afraid they are? Now I can fold them with the tape because, whatever, I can't sew. And I got myself some of these, these little Camco fire starters. They were like $4. So I got three, they're like fire starter sticks. And because I really suck, I'm a city boy, I suck at starting fires. I'm cheating with these campfire sticks. Don't laugh at me outdoors people, don't laugh. Letter from Oh, this is from Trey. Aw, oh, Trey, super sweet. Oh, big pack of stickers. Oh, these are perfect. Trey, these rock. These are cool. And they're all black and white too, so they fit my, fit my van straight out of Canada. These are all like a perfect fit. Woo! Oh, this is good. Um, a set of chucks, keep it real, keep it old school. Thank you so freaking much. Mm. I love the whole thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get fat. Fatter. I just put a whole ding dong in my mouth. <laughs> Ah, a pretty exciting one. Oh yeah, baby. My new vlogging setup. I ordered it from B&H in New York City. <laughs> a Rode Video Micro, which is an external microphone for my cell phone. Now we can fix the audio problem on the selfie side of my camera, so now, I like right now I'm filming on the opposite side so I don't even know what you guys can see. I could be totally zoomed in right now and you guys might be sick staring at my nostrils. I don't know. I am freaking pumped up. Ooh, I'm pumped up for this. Um, static camper van. Scott brought this to our, ooh nicely presented. Brought this to our meetup. Ooh, it's the tripod that he was using and I just loved the feeling of this tripod in my hand. It's all metal. We're the one I'm on now. Listen to it. 
Yeah, it's a, piece of, it's a freaking piece of garbage. It's the Manfrotto, whatever it's called, garbage. Here's the new camera rig. See, this, I don't know if you can see it. All metal, no more plastic BS garbage. It's cool because it's got a quick release, so if I want to take the top off, boom, it's out. No more fussing and mussing and having issues and problems with, ah. So the great thing about this is, is this is going to capture a lot better audio for me, especially if I'm doing projects outside of my own vlog. The tripod is really freaking cool. The base flips down and it's comfortable with this up. When I'm holding the vlog, it's super comfy. This flips down to the bottom, rotates. Now you've got yourself a full blown tripod. Cool thing is here is it also extends up here so we can make it taller, shorter. Oh man, just this whole thing in general. Even if I were to flip this up here and I wanted a taller stick to get the camera a little farther away from me, we could do that. Oh, this thing is so great. Woo! Okay, hold on, let's take a look at this thing. Woo, look at that thing, all metal. Oh, this is gonna be so good to vlog with. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna see what that shot sounded like because normally when I turn my microphone on, it's got this sound at the beginning. Um, here's with the wind muff on. And this is what it sounds like with the wind wind muff off. This on, on for the most part, on most microphones, is gonna take a little bit of the high end off. And I know when it comes to me and any pro microphones I use for DJ work, um, I really need more high end because my voice is very mid-rangey. So hopefully this sounds better without it. And we'll pop this on on those windy days. <laughs> What's up guys? Oh, I'm so excited. This whole rig just feels real. It feels like I just turned my cell phone into a legitimate pro camera. Man, I wish you could see this whole rig in my hand. Merry Christmas to me. Yeah, this is what I bought myself for Christmas, and this tripod is pretty freaking sweet. I just ate my third ding dong. <laughs> um, I just watched the footage from that last clip, and pretty freaking awesome that the audio sounds the same with and without the wind muff, which is really cool, and I like that because if I leave it on, then I can vlog outside on windy days and not have to worry about that silly little windy noise that this, the iPhone picks up. Oh! Anyway, I'm pretty sure we talked a lot and it's just a mail time video guys, but my mom hasn't been feeling too good, so taking care of family and stuff has been really important at this time. You're not allowed to touch my ding dong. Hold on. There's one more package. <laughs> Forgetting about stuff. Hold on, here we go. This is what I use for powering everything these are my light switches all on this little switch panel so that switch panel is just like this switch panel because i like to keep things really simple in my van i have one of these except for mine switch is orange but i this is what i use to power everything in my van so my lights up there and i know these aren't like the greatest things i would have been better to like do a whole 12 volt thing with proper switches but this is what i did because i like to keep things simple i don't want to fuss with crazy wiring so this is what's visible on the front side i'm mounting a second one down there because i'm going to be running a few more things for power so this will be plugged into the back and whatever i connect this to will be on this switch okay so if i were to plug this into the front of my jackery um into the front of here right. it's the jackery 2 240 so if I were to plug this into the front of here just make sure these aren't make sure those aren't touching <laughs> into the front of here whatever this is connected to powers on when this switch is on right so now when they're off boom they're on simple as that so if I were to run lights off of here it's just an easy on and off. And the great thing about it is too, is that when I wanna shut this panel off, I just shut this off, right? So when this is plugged in somewhere, this gets mounted, you put everything you want on switches here, you can plug your cell phone in here, you can plug your cell phone in here, 
But if you want to use things in your Vanya, click this on and boom, you have power to whatever you need plugged in super, super simple. Sorry, I was looking for the other one. By these, let me shut the power off. By these little tiny cigarette lighter things and these were like $10 from Amazon. To me, this is wiring your van the freaking easiest way. And I know these things aren't the greatest. They're not going to last the longest. But you know what? This seems like a lot more hardy than the last ones I bought. Yeah. But anyway, all these things are going to be installed in a video a little bit later on. <laughs> oh, now I got to deal with this mess. Disco, you come help me clean this mess. Oh. Oh, buddy, I got a box in my back. Want to come help me clean this mess, bro? Anyway, guys, sorry the last couple of days have been a lot of just like... Well, guys, this everyday van life. This is what's going on in my world. And that's my next chore right now is I'm going to have to go find a recycling bin and a garbage bin and take care of this ruckus. All right, thanks for watching this one, you guys. And uh, I'm going to go clean the house tonight. And then tomorrow, we're taking off to go find some snow. So hopefully in the next video, there'll be snow in the thumbnail. We got like eight days of adventuring here in the surrounding Vancouver area before we bounce off and catch that ferry. But it's coming soon. Later, guys. Girls. Weirdos. Why do I keep calling you guys, hey? I keep calling them guys all the time. What's up, guys? Girls, dogs. <laughs> Hopefully this microphone sounds okay. Peace out.